know what's so attractive about younger women? Because we a lot of these dudes talk about fertility and, yeah. and looks and stuff. I don't actually think it's that. I think that in the modern world, in the, in the days of old, right, you'd meet a woman, you get married, you'd be together, whatever. In the modern world, if I meet a girl who's 33 and single, I know the amount of dick that's been through her before yeah. me is just simply unattractive. I don't care how nice you are, yeah, yeah. but you're 33 years old. Yeah. How many men have fucked? If I get a 19-year-old girl, I might be her second or third man, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be dude number fucking 29. Yeah. And all the trauma and heartbreak and bullshit they put you through, you're going to try and bring to my door? Yeah. Like, well, my last man cheated. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, why is that my problem? So if you pick up older women, you have to accept They've been on the carousel longer. They've had more fucking rides, more spins. Yeah. I don't want that shit. I, when I see a beautiful young woman, I know that she has a very low body count. And that, and, and also, no, but no, but the truth is, this. <laughs> women's mentality is absolutely connected to sex. If a woman sleeps with a bunch of men, it's harder to penetrate her mind and make her fall in love with you. It is unattractive. And it's unattractive. It is. But if she's, sl- <laughs> if she's had 30 dudes inside of her, she, she really didn't think, you know what, this guy's so, so, so special. Or she didn't think, you know what, he talked to me real, let's go get a new guy. Whereas if a woman's only been with a few guys, she's much more likely to fall in love with you, be a better partner. So the likelihood of her falling completely in love with you and staying loyal to you and, and really believing you're the only man for her after being through so much trauma and so many men and sleep with so many dudes and having her heart broken and having those memories of her ex and all that crap she's been through is far less likely than meeting a nice, young, beautiful girl who hasn't been with many men. And she goes, you know what? This is the guy I, I like. So every woman who knows this and every man who watches this can be honest. Women fall in love with the person they lose their virginity to or their second or third guy. They really remember them. They really love them. Da-da. Any woman who slept with 50 dudes, she doesn't remember who most of them are. She doesn't care. If a woman slept with a bunch of men before you, she's less likely to stick it out through a difficult period in a relationship. She's more likely to just say, you know what? New answers, new dick. That's a pretty and, good and, answer. And that's the truth. Let me make something clear. If I meet a beautiful 30 year old woman, I'm not saying I won't sleep with her. That's pretty fucking old. Yeah. 30? I know. What are you, crazy? I, I, there's been times I was doing your reaction to the video. Honestly, he spoke really fast and it was kind of quiet. <laughs> you couldn't hear? I mean, not really. I mean, I think I got the gist of what I was saying. Okay, maybe it was the ears. The ears were covering up the... They should give me more hearing. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Good point. Your, your reaction? I, too, couldn't really tell what that guy was talking about, but he seemed really passionate. <laughs> Some people here at the table and could hear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Andrew Tate just grinds my gears in general. You couldn't so hear. Was, you couldn't hear. Uh, it, just... it was. It was pretty quiet. I mean, on my end, it kind of was quiet. He does talk really fast. Um, I mean, I we watched this video last time, so I've already said my thoughts on it in the past. Well, let's. We'll come to you at yeah. the end then. Um. I mean, he did mention about heartbreak and trying to move on and having this other person be stuck on somebody else. I mean, I've, we've probably all been in that situation, mm-hmm. right? We're trying to move on with somebody. So as far as the body count, I don't, I don't know if that matters, but that's my reaction to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was definitely passionate about it and it's like super opinionated and he super feels like he's right. So there he went. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, he has a lot of his own opinions, but I mean, we all have our own like own opinion on uh, body count. I just think the body count should be a preference if they, if you want, if you care, it doesn't matter. I don't think. I think it's like the importance you give to sex. Like, it doesn't matter like the body count you have. It depends like how you view sex and you're a loyal partner. And yeah, I respect his opinion honestly. If you don't want a girl with a high body count then don't be with that girl. Find a girl with a low body count. And if you think that she's not capable of love with a high body count, uh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, date a boy if you don't want a girl with a high body count. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Easy fix. Or you could just date a woman with a low body count. Or a boy. Or a woman If they tuck, it's almost the same thing. That's the solution, just be gay. Um, They can tuck for you, it's okay. It It looks the same from the front. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. A tuck. I just don't Ew. think a woman with a bo- high body count. I think they're capable of love. I don't think that they're not. I think. They're, I don't, think, cap- I don't, I don't think a number or. Whatever. They're capable of love, but it's just. I'll fall in love they, real quick. They've, <laughs> they've done studies on this. Like the more sexual partners you have, it does shift your yeah. ability. How many to sexual pair partners bond. do you have? Just wondering. I'm a I'm a man of God. So I don't, I don't reveal my body count. 
Ew. So you ask I'm, I'm women, it matters. You asked all of us our body well, counts. Because I believe body count matters. So I'm going to omit answering that question. I'm a very discreet individual, so okay. I don't answer that question. Right. So clever. Okay. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> That's yeah. an answer. That's fine. That's fine. What? Clever. You guys could have omitted answering if you were if you were so, so inclined. I fucking did. <laughs> well, there you go. Exactly. Didn't you like ask the chat hers what they thought hers would be when she and? tried to omit? What does the chat think yours would be? They can if they want. Chat if you want, you can try to guess my chat, body can count. Chat, you can try to guess. I just the judgment sometimes. I think he's still waiting for the big day. <laughs> you, you think I'm Ain't a no virgin? Ain't no shame in it. You think I'm a virgin? Ain't no shame, dude. You think I'm a virgin? Man of God. Do you know what a promise ring is? I don't is? think so. I mean, I'm being I'm being flippant about the that comment, but but uh, I don't think you have like one penetration. Zero. One. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's one. impossible. I'm just <laughs> saying. Virgin five. What about? Right. Uh, uh, no. Anyways, moving on. That. Yeah. That was, that was like give the most. Give us something else. Let's give you something. Yeah. That that was the most. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was the that was a very milk toast response to Andrew Tate that usually triggers people. But okay, we're gonna. <laughs> 